Hello students. Today we are going to discuss shortcut method in continuous series to find out arithmetic mean. Okay, in the earlier video we have worked out the problem in direct method. And you know my dear students, in direct method the formula to find out arithmetic mean in continuous series is arithmetic mean is equal to summation f m divided by n and this is under direct method okay now we are going to discuss the same problem in shortcut method in shortcut method the formula to find out arithmetic mean is equal to a plus a plus summation f d by n into c c or c i c means common factor c i means class interval difference we can also assume like that okay now let me define the formula a is equal to assume mean we have to take an assume mean as we have taken uh, in individual series and discrete series in shortcut method okay and summation f d is equal to total of deviations total of deviations total of deviations from assumed mean from assumed mean and you okay uh, so here total of deviations from assumed mean and the tor after taking common factor after taking after taking common factor or after dividing with common factor after taking common factor okay you have to multi multiply them so multiplied with frequency multiplied with frequency okay and n is equal to total of frequency so here the first step the first step to find out arithmetic mean under shortcut method okay and one more thing we have forgotten here c is is equal to common factor we have not defined this no common factor common factor or the, the, the difference class interval we can also call it as class c c i c i class interval okay step 1 ascertain the mid values ascertain the mid values so here mid value 0 plus 10 by 2 is equal to 5. 10 plus 20 by 2 is equal to 15. So that is 35. 30 by 2. So in the same way you will get 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 and 85. Okay. So here you have to the important step is this one only calculate deviations calculate deviations from assumed mean from assumed mean calculate deviations from assumed mean and and okay divide divide all deviations all deviations by the common factor by the common factor so in this i mean uh, in this way you can do only when the common factor between these variables is 
common that is 10 0 to 10 in the difference is 10 10 to 20 10 in that way if the difference is equal then only you can do the, in this method okay my dear students so calculate deviations from assume mean and divide all deviations by the common factor so the formula is very simple okay so there is no need to worry about that so first you have to take assume mean okay assume mean what shall we take as assume mean what shall we take let me take this one 40 okay this is a okay so here also a means 40 assume mean okay and what is the mid value all these are mid values okay these are the mid values so 45 is the assumed mean okay mid values are all these so in each one you have to divide so here so for example if you want to ascertain d for for this first class interval you have to do like this so first you have to write assume mean a is equal to assume a minus m m, m means this one corresponding to 0 to 10 class interval so that is 5 and you have to divide it with the common factor that is class interval what is the difference between all these class intervals 10 isn't it so here 45 minus 5 by 10 is equal to okay so you will get 40 by 10 when you divide when you divide okay 40 by 10 you get you will get 4 you will get 4 isn't it you will get 4 so 45 minus 5 is equal to minus 40 minus 40 minus 40 by 10 is equal to minus 4 so it is very easy for you to calculate deviation under step method the formula is this one a minus m by ci a minus m by ci a is equal to assumed mean m is equal to all these mid values ci is equal to the difference between these two lower limit and upper limit 10 lower limit upper limit only 10 okay that is the difference so this is the formula and you can also do this for everyone say i will do for this also okay so again 45 minus 15 by 10 that comes to 45 minus 15 is equal to 30 minus 30 okay because assume mean is greater than mid values that's why you are keeping minus minus 40 minus 30 minus 10 i mean sorry minus 30 by 10 is equal to minus 3 so in the same way you will get here minus 2 here minus 1 here 0 how i will i will i will explain this 45 minus 45 by 10 is equal to what will you get okay 0 by 10 is equal to 0 isn't it and now you will get more than because assume mean means 45 okay and here the mid values are 55 65 75 85 let me do one 45 minus 55 by 10 so here you will get plus 10 by 10 is equal to plus 1 here in the same way plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so this is the deviation finding deviations calculating deviations from assume mean and divide all deviations by the common factor you will get like this okay students so this is the very very important factor and it is very easy for you if you just listen one more time okay and next is step is you have to third step you have to multiply multiply the frequency with the deviations multiply the frequency with deviations so deviations means this one minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and in the way plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay these are the deviations let me do that 
what with what you are going to multiply f d f means frequency d means this one okay all these my okay right so what is f here one isn't it one into minus four is equal to what do you get you will get minus four only here four into minus three four three is at twelve minus twelve 10 into minus 2 that is equal to minus 20 35 into minus 1 minus 35 minus sorry sorry uh, you have to multiply with frequency isn't it so 10 it is okay 4 into 3 okay 10 into 2 okay 22 into 1 22 into 1 that that comes to how much minus 22 minus 22 and here 13 to 0 is equal to 0 isn't it 30 into 0 is equal to 30, 0 and next year 35 into 1 so you have to add just like 30 plus plus 35 here plus 20 how 10 into plus 2 is equal to plus 20 isn't it you have to multiply f into d that is the thing you have to understand and next is 7 into 3 is equal to plus 21. 7, 3 is 21, isn't it? And 1 into 4 is equal to plus 4. My dear students, you have to add my all the minuses. And you have to all add all the pluses. Okay. Let us do that thing. So, minus 4, 14, 4 plus 12, 16. 16 plus 20, 36. 36 plus 38, 48, 58, isn't it? So, these are minus 58. And let me do this. 35 plus 20, 55, 56, 66, 76. 76 plus 4, 80, isn't it? So, plus are more than minuses. So, plus are 80, pluses are 80, and minuses are 58. So, now, what will you get when you minus 8, with 10, 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 and here you will have only 7, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 that is plus 22, you will get this one. So here, here the, I mean summation FD is equal to plus 22, that is the answer my dear students and now let me know what is the frequency, the total frequency is N is equal to 120. 120 okay now you have to apply the formula so what is the formula here what is the formula you have to apply the apply the formula formula once again i will do that for you i will i will write it again here for you arithmetic mean is equal to a plus summation fd by n into cr CI class interval common factor or class interval difference okay right so let me explain a what is the a what is the assume mean we have taken assume mean we have taken 45 that is that you are going to write 45 and what is summation fd that is equal to plus 22 and what is number of frequency total number of frequency n n is equal to 120 and what is the common factor that is class interval difference that is 10 okay my students all the items in the formula you have got and now let us convert those into formula format so arithmetic mean is equal to a plus means 45 plus isn't it 45 plus summation fd means plus 22 by n means 120 into c means common factor or class interval difference is 10 so this is the huh? this is the yeah a formula and its figures okay so here when you when you calculate this so what will you get 20 
So again, 45 plus 22 into 10 is equal to 220, isn't it? 22 into 10 is equal to 220. 220 by 120, isn't it? 0, 0, you can cancel. What will, what will remain here? Okay, 22 and 12 remain. So 45 plus, you have to divide 22 by 12. Okay, 1.83. 1.83 and you have to add that 45 plus 1.83 is equal to 46.83 okay students uh, this is the problem and my request to all of you is you listen once again if you don't understand okay when you listen twice it is very easy for you to understand after that I request you to practice, to practice two more problems under shortcut method. I have given those two problems below. One is both relating to business statistics marks. Okay.